Hello everybody and welcome back to Galactic Science 2. So at the end of the last episode I made this crystal growth chamber. And let's put this down. I've basically removed the crystal growth accelerator, accelerator that was underneath here. I'm just going to put it down say here like this. And then we can right click this. So I also removed the toggle bus and the other crystal growth chain accelerator. Let's have a look. Let's look for seeds. Oops, just seed, isn't it? Another quartz seed, flux crystal, and surface quartz. So if I now put these seeds into here, look how fast they're growing. Really fast. This is really impressive. Look at this, 20% already. It's only going to take a, f a few seconds before this is actually completed. What about a minute or so? And when it's not in use, it's not using power by the side, by the looks of it as well. So that's pretty good. So what we were going to do is going to make some processes, weren't we? So that I know to make 128. So let's look what we've got for pure. I've already taken them out. I think I've done with the others. So I've already put them down in the machine. See, already finished. Let's go downstairs. And look over here. I think I'm going to remove, have to remove this one. I don't need the last one, do I? Because it's uh, the one where I'm going to put all the bits in. So I probably need to put, need to put this onto a different. Maybe I should put it somewhere different, like here, for example. And pick up this router as well. Do it that way, can I do it with this tool? Yep. Oh, we can remove this. So let's have a look what we've got in here now. Nothing in there. 64 in here. So in the printed circuit calculation circuit, we've got 64. So let's go and put these into here, like this 57 into here, like that. And you'll see it's coming into here and just working way through there nicely. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put those. Now this is going to be done by switch to slot mode. Hmm. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put everything in here independent independently. So if I just shift click that into there. And then I would need to bring across some cables, that's no big deal for power. Let's do it here. So that's now got power. It doesn't show you got power actually, but we've got power. So let's go and get the other bits that we need. So what I need to do with this one is to have a look in here. And I should have in here um, processes or circuits, aren't they? Yeah, I've got 102 of those. That's 64 from the other one. That's good. And what else do we need? Circuits. Um, silicon. We've got 131 silicon. That's just enough for the things. We need redstone, of course. Two stacks of that. So putting all these together, I should make 128 logic circuits. I don't, know, I don't know whether I can actually simply shift. Oh, did I pick up fluid crystals? That was. Uh, oh no, I didn't pick them up. They were there before, weren't they? Let's put those two in there. That should find a. What mode is it? Switch to slot mode. That's right. So it doesn't find those. Okay. So put those in like that, and it should find it. In fact, I was surprised by that. I'd have thought this would have found that. Hmm. So this is still working. We've done 25. Let's go and get upstairs and get some speed upgrades while we're thinking about it. I don't suppose we'll need too many. Let's put the flux crystals in here. We don't need those. And also the pure nether quartz crystals. So if we just put, say, let's put one in there. 
Yes, that's significantly faster. Let's put two in here. Let's fill it up. <laughs> that's going faster than the bar can actually show us. That's good. I fill up these like that. So we don't need to worry about the other side. In fact, it doesn't matter what I put in there, it just automatically goes into the right machine because of the um, because of the press that's in here, which is good. So what I basically need to do is, I think I need to automate this in some way, but I'm not exactly sure how we do that yet. So we've got 57, let's put take those out. So that should now, when that's finished, give us the 128 that we actually need. For that quest. So, so while that's doing that, let's have a look at what else we can be doing. Quests. Stars Alliance completed, I think, as far as we can get until we get to Rocket Tier 3. Elements. So we're working on this one at the moment. And then we've got this one, Slicey. Make a block cutting machine. Then we'll get a diamond cutting blade. Let's have a look what we have to do for block cutting machines. I was looking at sta sta uh, storage as well. This one. So that's 10 engineering process and the basic machine casing, which is 64 iron plates and 10 logic processors. Well, actually, that's not such a big deal. Now we've got that one. Let's just go and claim that quest. Detect submit. It's not consuming, so that's good. And we can claim that loot chest. Oh, well, look what's in the loot chest, shall we? What is it? Rarity 25%. Ah, we got some more upgrades for the for the routers which is actually pretty nice even though I actually think it's probably easier to nicer to get to AE stuff because that's much more much more difficult to actually to do so actually we've got speed upgrades for that now I think we've got two speed upgrades and two item routers let's just sort that so that was that one let's put these into here we need some logic calculation. Which one was the one we need? Um, processors. So circuits. So we've got 64 of each of these. Which I don't think we need in any way. Let's go and get some silicon. Hopefully we've got some silicon around. I hope. Nine. Well, that's not really enough. This must be night time. Well, just have a quick sleep and go outside, I think. Well, I'm looking at the minimap and it's got some mobs around. I was going, okay, they're a bit too near. When I got to this door, I could hear them. So let's get some more cobblestone. Unfortunately, I've put the cobblestone right round here, which is a bit inconvenient. I thought I'd speeded this up. I have, yes, I've put some speed upgrades in there. But I think this blocks every time you start up the game. All right, that's good. So now basically that should be coming in here fast enough. So we want, let's get six stacks of that. So what I really want is just to make a quick hopper as well, I think. So let's just make a hopper. Eight chests. Let's just do it like this. Eight chests will be fine. And then let's re let's, let's put these into the usage of this one. Well, that was a big mistype. Not 
do. The reason I made a hopper is I would like to feed these in here automatically. Mm, but I'm not even sure that's going to help me very much. Ah, actually, I don't need to do that. I can put the cobblestone into here. And that will then come out, and it should come out into here. So I've still got that filter on there. Yes, I have. Good. And then that's got the gravel coming out in here, but it's not coming in fast enough. So let's put a speed upgrade into that one. Now it's working just fine. In fact, what I could also do into this up here is to put gravel into that. But I've only got one. I don't think I've got a capacity guard in there. No. It doesn't matter very much. We'll put the gravel into... Oh, why should we put the gravel? That'll make flint. I want to put it back in here, really. I can take the sand out and put the sand through. The sag mill. One more. I'm just going to put that through there as well. Make some more um, flint. So let's go downstairs now. And I need some logic processes, don't I? Oh, I needed some redstone, and I didn't go and get any. So I need some of these. Oh, I need to press those, don't I, first of all. So let's go up here and get some redstone. We're getting a bit low on redstone. I wonder. Nope. Machine filter, advanced subscriber. Oh. Well, that's working just fine, actually. I thought it wasn't going to work. We've got eight, nine, ten. That's what we need for this. So we can make those. Let's put those into there like that. And I get taken out. And sure enough, it's starting to work. So while those are being made, let's go and get the plates done. So plates. So I need some iron. We need 64, so just take a stack of those. Go along here to the rolling machine. In fact, I probably can remove this now. So that should be in there, being rolled, which is good, and then coming back into the system. So down we go. It's a bit of to and froing again, isn't it? So in here now I should have 64, or no, sorry, 10 logic processors. So if we put those 10 logic processors with it, 64 iron plates, which we should have now, let's have a look. Plates. Well, I've got 196, fine. I must have made some earlier. And I think they go in the assembly table, just guessing. Yes, there we go. A basic machine casing. I was going to ask look at how much power it needs and it's done already, good so now I reckon we can make a block cutting machine how's that done, in the assembly table with 10 engineering processors oh, we should have engineering processors oh because they were a quest reward have they gone to oh that's So, a block cutting machine. How much does that need? Oh, it's done already. So let me get those back. So we've now got a block cutting machine. And it uses industrial craft 2 power. Okay, that's going to be more of an interesting problem. But let's have a look at this. Quests again. That was done. We claimed that one, didn't we? it's not available now so we should be able to do this one detect good 
So we now get a cutting blade diamond done. And that then opens up this one, more machine. Oh, that's a bit strange. Why is it that way around? All right, let's go. And go. I think those two quests are the wrong way around. Because you'd expect one to follow to the other, wouldn't you? So where, where are we now? We should have plenty of, yep, good gravel in there, sand. And we can put some of the gravel through this one. It'll work through there slowly. I did four stacks, didn't I? So that's going to take a few seconds longer. We're unlikely to get enough from this, so let's just put these in here like that. We've got plenty of flint. That's good. That's what I need it to do. 13. Actually, we have got enough. So let's go downstairs with these 13. And put those into here. So I think the only thing we need is... Oh, wrong. Second time I've done that. I forgot to keep remembering to process these. Oh, 10. We need... All right, we've got to wait. Patiently issuing. Let's get that going faster, can't we? But this is definitely one that would be benefit from a speed upgrade or two. Maybe not three. No, five. So this one now, yep. Let's just shove those into there like that and watch them get taken. And come through here. So we need ten, don't we? And 64. And plates. It's quite nice getting through these quests. So I must be honest with you. It's, mixed. it's a lot more fun than get one basic machine frame. to take this quest and then we get basic machine casing have I done the wrong one no oh. it helps if I take it out of it doesn't it so we now get 128 rubber and that's completed this section of the quest. What have we got to do here? An iron machine holds 64 of those. So what do we have to do for iron machine holes? Okay, so that's 30... So we need, this is where we need the dense iron plate which is made from nine iron plates in a compressor how many of these have we got to make i think we need some way to automate that's an aluminium machine how lots of silicon plates not really a big deal because that's just silicon dioxide in a synthesizing machine but iron that's which one we want this one 32 dense iron plates basically means four and a half stacks for one stack of these. So we need two and a quarter stacks for 32. Wow. That's a significant amount of stuff, isn't it? So let's do that then. So we need to make a compressor from IE2, I think. So compressor I should have here. Compressor. So we need 10 aluminium holes plus a basic machine case. Well, we've got the basic machine casing. Electronic circuits should be no problem. And aluminium is five and plus 32 blocks of aluminium make one casing. So we need eight blocks of aluminium. So let's get those processing. We've got 4,000 in here. So let's, that's how much aluminium we actually got in the system. 
Plenty, 2,000 buckets. So we've been making iron in here for recently, haven't we? So let's take the iron out. We've probably got a lot, a lot of iron in here, which we have, yes. And then we want to get basically the aluminium out of here. Put that into this filter, like that. And then this will, of course, carry on running because it's full of iron for the time being. And when that's finished, we'll just clear it off. But in the meantime, we can get some more of the gravel out, stand out of here. Let's put got some more sand in here from time 64. I'm not sure where that's coming from. There we are. Oh, yes, of course, I know where it's coming from. That's coming from, from here because it's got an output. So whenever I'm pulverizing anything in here, yeah, it's coming into this chest, which is also nice. That's working reasonably well. So we've still got plenty of um, gravel to sort out. I was hoping to get a stack. We haven't got a stack yet. Now it looks like we've finished off the Colossal rods from upstairs, which is also good. It's the sand we need to get through here. So we got some dust as well. Ah, we got our 64 now. So let's take those downstairs. Oh, we need some. Ah, oh, didn't I have forgotten something else, haven't I? Because we need lots of iron plates. So let's take this. Give me 63. I don't need the lever. Let's take the next one. Oh, 45. We've got for iron. It's not that we've got exactly a shortage of iron in here, actually, to be honest with you. Let's make 128 plates, which is two stacks, which is nowhere near it. We've got another stack to do, haven't we? That's going to take a while. Now, electronic circuits is another one of challenging things. How are we doing for electric, electronic circuits? One. Wow. Okay, so we need that one as well. I forgot what the recipe for that one is, actually. Oops. I know it's cables. Oh, that's one for each. Okay, it's not too bad. I'm not sure what we do with this block cutting machine unless it helps me with my plates. If I put this down, say here, what we got in here is we can dig up here because I've got underneath here, I think I've got some cables. Let's just dig that up and put down here some more um, Galactic Craft cables. I also have got them on with me. Like that. So it says danger. Look, it does. It's a warning. So I ain't sure what we do with this one. Let's have we got any recipes. So information. Not very much use. It's nice to have recipes in these things, isn't it? Hmm. I've got a feeling it might be for cutting up iron. Let's just see what we've got for iron. Let's just take this here and split this up. What would happen if I put in an ingot into I can't. How about a block? 
Well, that's doing something. What's it going to do to that? Of course, it's slow. Okay, while that's doing that, let's put that away. Oh, look, it's got a nice animation at the front here. Going finishing, I guess, is it? Let's have a look. Well, that just indicates it's doing something, I don't know. Oh, so we get nine plates per block. Okay, I suppose I can let that run. Uh, I've just space problem at the moment, sorry. Let's shift this into there like that. Let that let this process. What have we got in here? Nothing more in there. So now we need to make this compressor. Compressor circuits. So we need 10 circuits. Okay, we need, we got plenty of rubber. That's this lot here. So let's go and convert those to balls. To be honest with you, I'm sure it's the only thing you can do with this. So we need to make 10. That basically means we need 15 balls because it's three per for every two. So that's basically 10 divided by two multiplied by three because it's 15. So we can wait for this to finish. What else do we need? Blocks of iron and blocks of redstone. So we need five of each, I think. Let's go and put this gravel through the system as well. So what do you feel? That's amazing. Sun can go in here. I need to find a good way to automate this as well, don't I? In fact, gravel can go straight into here, I think. It can good. So let's carry on with this compressor. Once we got the compressor, that changes things a lot. Probably means I've got to make some speed upgrades. Have we got anything in here? No, I haven't got. Probably means that I've got to make some speed upgrades as well. All right, we've got more than enough ball to rubber now let's go back out here and we need some copper cables we've got plenty of copper cables right 64 let's shove those into the machine and get some stuff made so what are we doing here all right now I can clear this off actually I'm going to clear off this as well for that matter so that's now empty it is good I'm going to Put this machine on and put the 38 balls into here like that and then we're going to put into this machine here the insulated cable mold and put into the wires so we've got those so then we just need the rubber coming out of here like this let's do it like this it's one bucket's worth That's two buckets worth. That's the one for this. Right, that's two empty now. Let's just go back and get the next one. Oh, I keep doing that, don't I? It'd be nice if I could shift click an empty one into here. I still got some more capacity there. I keep getting the same thing. Work. 
So that's now finished. So we should have enough circuits to make the five we need. It would be sensible to come around here and pick up some iron as well while we're here. Oh, I did need to do something else, and I want to get the aluminium working in here. So let's, let's take those out of there. Let's put the let's put the wires down here. That. and then we should start to get some blocks of aluminium being produced which we are good so now we've got our basic machine case and we've got 38 of these i'll take a stack of these as well so now we need the compressor let's have a look so we've got some casing we need this one 10 of these so we need five blocks of redstone which we've got and five blocks of iron which you've got so what I'm going to do now is to put everything that we need into here like that ah I misclicked in time with the iron in there and there's a circuit recipe let's let those get worked on because that's going to take a few seconds because there's a lot of power required to make a circuit So let's go downstairs. I've got lots of silicon on me here. Let's put the silicon into here. What else do we need to do? So on the compressor, let's just double check that again. So we need these aluminium holes, which we're making those for, and five logic circuits. What have we got? We've got two logic circuits. So we got here for gold 48 let's take those with us and get those processed as well I think I've got plenty I think we've already got some gold ones in here we have haven't we good yes so let's put those into that let those get made. How much? 13, 15, 16. Wow, well, they're going fast, aren't they? So let's have a look. What do we need for that one? That makes one of those five. And we need eight, so we need 40. Whoa. Maybe we have enough now. Quite an expensive recipe doing this, isn't it? Well, at least in this bag. Right, we've got a 40. Let's go up here. Hopefully we've got some aluminiums through here. Thirteen. Oh, at least the circuits are coming through nicely, it's good. Need 32 my goodness we need a lot of those which isn't going to happen that fast because the metal former is quite slow anyway uh, the metal caster is quite slow so we've only got that many it's not very many really is it okay some more plates let's take those out of there does it actually damage the wheel by the way doesn't seem to be seems to work good well I think that's it for this episode oxygen's running about out on 35 minutes and we've completed quite a few quests 
So next time we're going to carry on. Well, I'll, in between time I'll make sure I've got these blocks of aluminium and the circuits and we can carry on making the compressor. So until then, bye for now.